for the folks that have no idea what you mean when you say conversational marketing, let's just assume there's some listeners that are like, oh, what does he mean by that? You know, sure. what, walk us into, I guess, how about this? How about an, a nice overview of Drift overall and then speak specifically about conversational marketing? Go ahead. Sure. So, I mean, conversational marketing is this category we created um, almost five years ago now. And really the, the overall mission of it is to fundamentally change, transform, if you will, how a business will you know, buy from another business. Uh, so changing B2B buying. And at its core, it's about connecting people together um, faster and with less friction. Uh, and there's a few reasons why this is so, so important. Okay. Um, number one, we have shifted um, as a population from an era where the companies, like businesses, had all of the control. They were able to control basically everything. And that now has changed thanks to the last 25, 30 years of the rise of the internet. Okay. Uh, the, the power has shifted. And that power has shifted now to the customer, the consumer, where we now have unlimited information. We have unlimited options of what to buy, where to buy it, how to buy it. And we have these, these ever growing and changing expectations because we have so much power these days. Um, and because in our, in our lives, we, um, can get anything we want, an answer, a product, yep. an outcome yep. Yep. pretty quickly that when you think about it from like a business buying from another business or a person working in a business looking to buy from another business, that hasn't changed, right? B2C has changed fundamentally, but B2B hasn't changed. Mm. So we're saying businesses who are selling to other businesses need to change and they need to use conversational marketing to do that. And they need to, to use messaging, really like chat, as the core tool to, to do that and integrate that tool and the strategy of conversational marketing, that philosophy that we can talk more about into doing that. So it's just like a recruiter trying to get in touch with a candidate. If a candidate's coming to your website and they're checking you out to see if they want to be, uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe apply or be employed, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would, would you want any friction blocking you from the two of you connecting from no, that not, candidate? You know well, what I mean? Well, yeah, yeah. And, I sure, and I sure as hell wouldn't want any friction between me and a potential client looking at the website, right? Like a company looking exactly. at the website to, to maybe hire Ryder Flex. I definitely don't want friction. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're, you're, you're helping companies to hire people. Right. You want to make sure that your store... Because like in the, in, the, in the world now, especially now because of the you know, COVID-19 and everything going on, there is mm -hmm. now an acceleration from the industrial physical world to what I think of as like the knowledge mm -hmm. digital world. I, to I totally agree. So your, your store is your website mm -hmm. and it's the most important marketing asset you have. And if you don't make it easy for someone to have a conversation with you or mm. to get what they're looking for, to get to their like thing that they need in the moment um, and capture their interest and intent in a simple, easy way for them, uh, you're missing out on, on revenue. And how do you guys do that? Walk us through how you do that. Yeah. So we, we built, so one of the things that I did when I joined um, is, is we built uh, a blueprint and a framework to help businesses. Okay. So it's, it's, it's pretty simple actually. Um, the first thing I'll say is, is conversational marketing is this philosophy around making the experience of buying something um, more authentic, you know, more personalized, uh, more human centric than, than ever before. Um, you know, taking what makes us as humans um, what we use in our everyday lives, I should say, okay. uh, and, and using that as part of the buying and customer experience. So that's our philosophy around it. So how do you actually bring that philosophy to life? We think of it as these five uh, W's. So we can, we can stop at each W, but the first W is, and actually, Steve, I'll give you a sneak peek and your listeners a, a sneak peek. We're actually updating Great. this blueprint. So let Great. me give you the new blueprint. 
great. We're in the process of updating it. It starts with who, like who's coming to your website? Like what types of businesses, but the people at those businesses. Um, maybe it's, you know, maybe it's also people looking for employment. Um, right. Maybe it's a decision maker. Maybe it's someone who's like more of an influencer in the buying process. Uh, maybe it's a CEO. So who's coming to the website? And you got to think about like, as a marketer then, as a business owner, you know, how am I getting those people to the website? So, uh, you know, is, what campaigns am I running? What programs am I running to attract this, these people to the website? So the first thing you got to look at is the who. The second thing is where are they coming from? Are they coming from a paid ad? Are they coming from Google, a Google search? Are they coming from an email marketing campaign? Where are these people coming from? Then, which are the channels, which are your, your channels, and you can also think about where are they in their stage of their, if they're buying purchase, are they at the top of the funnel, middle, bottom, right? Kind of breaking that down. So, so we're, we're basically taking all of the things that a marketer should be thinking about and using this one central thing, the central blueprint to help you have more conversations and make the buying experience uh, more enjoyable. How do you figure out the who and the yeah, where yeah. I'll stop yeah, there. Ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, I'll stop there. After you put the who and the where, there's, there's a few more things that come through it, but like, what, what's your take on the who and the where? <clears throat> well, I'm, my, my question is, how are you figuring that out? I mean, if you could tell me, if I had a tool that said, hey, Steve, um, you know, a thousand people hit the website today. And by the way, five of them were CEOs looking for a potential firm to help them, help them with recruiting. And here's their contact information. <laughs> I, I, I'm ready to hire Drift right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there's, there's a few ways you figure out the who, um, one is you don't, you actually don't know who's coming to your website because you, right. you don't have access to that person's information. So you're going to, you're going to use conversational marketing to find out number one, number okay. two, you use services like, um, six cents zoom info, which are all fully part of the drift product, which is, um, intent based services, right? You know, um, Basically, you're, you're able to understand through um, data that these companies provide, you know, who's coming to the site uh, based off of demographic, firmographic information, okay. um, things like that. You know what I mean? Google, Google, okay. Analytics, Google Analytics won't, won't tell you this? Um, if, if you already know who they are, um, yes. Yeah. Yes, but if you use something, for example, like, um, you know, Clarebit, Reveal, um, so, something like that, where you're, you're taking um, IP information, IP address information, and you're using it to understand um, who's coming to your website. So like what company's coming to your website, who from that company is coming to that website, um, that's going to then help you understand um, from a, like a firmographic standpoint, the right business is coming to my website. Oh, oh, these businesses are coming to my website. Great. Now that I know that they're coming to the website, I can personalize going back to that philosophy of conversational marketing, that experience a bit more. Mm. So that's the second one. The mm. third layer of the who is like you integrate your, your Google analytics, your marketing automation platform, your CRM with say the conversational marketing platform that is drift. And you can use that data you already have and you already know these people who they are and use it to personalize the experience and make it more authentic for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, so I get a clearer picture on who's visiting and why and, and where they might be from. And then how am I having these quote conversations? Is that, do I have like Sally on the other end of the, you know, the chat screen typing in messages to Mary? How does that work? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a good question. So, and I and I know about. I mean, I kind of know what chat bots are and stuff like that. But go ahead for the listeners. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, all right, who's uh, who's coming to my website? You get that. Uh, you, you know where they're coming from. Like, say, right. say, let's use a real example. So I have a, um, I have a a segment of my uh, database. Okay. They're my say target account list. Like you know, they I know these businesses. They're they're part of my ideal customer profile. They're coming to my website. Um, they're coming to my website from a paid ad, um, set of campaigns I'm okay. running. That's where okay. they're coming from. All right. Now it's about what page are they landing on? 
Yep. So what page are they landing on and what's the content and offer on that page? And that's where the, the connection, the relationship building can start to take place using a tool like a chat thought or live chat. Okay. And you can greet those people, engage with them in a way that's very personalized. You can say, Hey, uh, give me, give me an example of a client of yours. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's say American auto shield, they sell, uh, in, or they service insurance warranties. Um, so maybe the, maybe the CEO visits our website. Perfect. So maybe you, you just say, Hey, American auto shield. Thanks for visiting our website. Thanks for coming over from Google. How can I help you today? And you actually show them a couple of options. You don't make it like a blank thing, but you say like, Hey, I'm looking for more information. I like to talk to customer service. You know, like you make it contextual to that person. Like, oh, wow. Okay. That's my business. I just came from Google. Well, okay. That's awesome. And I actually have a question about this thing. And, and then that, that experience on that particular page will then start to help you understand why they're coming to your website at this particular moment, which is the fourth W after the mm -hmm. what, and it's going to help you understand how to get them to what they're looking for or what they need in that moment which is ultimately like the recommendation we're trying to get someone to. So I you see. engage with them, you understand a bit more about why they're visiting, and then you recommend to them the best possible thing for them at that moment. So can I take a pause right there? Let me, let me say back to you what I think I'm hearing. So yeah. is this real time, by the way? So somebody hits the website, like a, an executive from American Auto Shield, boom, there's, a, there's, a, there's maybe a early on, maybe there's a chat bot response that does a couple of little things, but then it goes to a human being that then can have a conversation with them through live chat. And then, and then now they're building this rapport and starting to, is that, am I hearing that right? You, you nailed it. And if say okay. a human is not online, say, you know, we sleep, we go on vacation, whatever, two right. things can happen. At least two things. One is that visitor can leave a message. Uh -huh. Two, yeah. they could book a meeting with someone. Okay. Right. And and um, three, I mean, say that particular human who doesn't own that account isn't online. For a, for a drift, what we have is um, we have a team called conversational development reps. Okay. And they are watching people who are coming to the website. And if they notice someone coming to the website who's visiting a couple times, visiting a high intent page, like the pricing page, uh -huh. um, it's, a, it's a key account, they're going to type in to that person and that person will see it go from a chat bot to a human ah. and they can start engaging right away. <laughs> I see. Okay. I like, okay, good, good, good. Yep. I think I get it now. All right. Very good. Now I, my, my, as you're telling me about all this, I'm thinking, okay, all this sounds great. But then my reaction is so HubSpot and Salesforce and all these guys, they're not, they're not doing this already. Is this like super secret patented special stuff that only you guys can do or walk me through that? Yeah, so so we're like the best in class conversational marketing tool. Okay. Right? Like we built the category. All we do is build products and solutions for conversational marketing and conversational sales. So we have like three products. We have chat, which are chatbots and live chat. We have a video product that's integrated that has chat integrated into it. So that's a free video product, which is actually very timely for people to use because you can use drift video, record videos send them via email, send them via um, even messaging. So, so, that, so, so how's that different from that bomb bomb uh, thing that we're using? What, what's, the, what's the difference or is it similar? Go ahead. It's definitely similar. What we've done though is taken the chat and messaging experience and integrated, integrated that into the video experience. Okay. So okay. you're watching the video and then on one side of the video, you see a messaging chat show itself. And you could actually chat live with that person who sent you the video or book a meeting with them. Wow. Okay. Oh, I like that. All right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's very good. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. So that's so the second product. <laughs> and then the third one is like, is, is, is email. But to answer your question about like why, why Drift versus HubSpot and Salesforce, right. you know, those are great platforms that have a lot of different tools, but they're not very deep in the tools I'm just mentioning to you, right? Okay. They have a ton of tools and they have a ton of great you know, extensions to their platform. And at the end of the day, they're mostly CRMs. Right. You know, Drift isn't a CRM. Drift is a conversational marketing platform that helps you take your CRM like HubSpot or Salesforce, connect it into Drift and actually bring you closer to the buyer 
Um, if, you, if you think about it, your website's the front line, Drift sits on your website, and then your CRM is more like back office. Mm -hmm. And so Drift is the, is the tool you should be using right in line with your website to, to connect those buyers and customers right away. I've, okay, great. Great overview. So is like Salesforce a, a customer for you? Do you sell it as like a add-on or a plug-in for Salesforce and HubSpot? Or you don't sell, sell to those guys? How does that work? So yeah, we have um, a lot of people, a lot of our customers use those tools. We don't sell through them. Um, you know, we have our own, own direct sales channel, you know, and, and we sell mostly to companies that are, you know, a hundred employees or bigger, you know, 500,000, 10,000 size businesses, mid market into like enterprise size businesses. Um, because at the end of the day, the sales teams are the ones that are going to start to use drift more and more marketing. Basically, I think of it like this, Steve marketing starts the conversations with drift sales has yep. the conversations with drift. Got it. Got it. Well, what about all those small business people out there that are less than a hundred employees? Can you, can you design a, can you design a, a model or a price that, that, that fits them? Yeah, it's free. Drift is free. Oh, oh it is. Well, you didn't yeah. Okay. You, you, you forgot to tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> we have a free product that you can use right away. If you don't want to start to get into the more sophisticated stuff. What? Okay. All right. Of course, I'm assuming it's, I'm, I'm assuming it's the bare bones. And if you want the fancy stuff, you got to start paying a little bit, but can you pay? Is there different versions of stuff? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's different versions. Yeah. We have four different plans. Oh yeah. It starts at even at like 50 bucks a month. <clears throat> wow. Okay. I'll definitely have my partner who leads sales, uh, you know, look into it right away. Okay. Very good. Because you're right. You know, we spend a lot of time on our website at Riderflex, um, and we spend a lot of time on our social media. I would like to do a better job of capturing information coming in and having conversations with those people. And, you know, just like you talked about, okay, very good. Glad you, glad you uh, clarified the fact that there is a free version to try it. So, okay, excellent. How big is drift now? How many employees? Uh, 350. All right. Yeah. V very good. Okay. Based in uh, Boston. Based in Boston. We've got an office in San Francisco, Seattle, and Tampa. Okay. Well, congratulations. It sounds like it's fun and I can feel the, the passion coming off of you. you de you're definitely passionate about the product. Like it's not, it's not fake by any means. Like you can tell you're, you're, you're all in. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I mean, I have my, my accountant, my, my accountant tax guy, uh, small business, right? Five people. He uses drift free in one month of him setting that up. It was at the beginning of 2019, uh, in the beginning of the tax season, he got five meetings in one month. What? Okay. All right. Very, very good. All right. Now it's only getting you know, 500,000 people a month, maybe visiting it. Okay. Now if we go on, uh, now that we've done the podcast interview, if we go on to the website and by the way, for the listeners, just so you know, we're all on the same page, it is drift.com. If they go to drift.com, I'm guessing there's a see a demo sign up for free version. You just walk through the website, right? Oh yeah. T top, top right hand corner of the website, right in the navigation. You can see both of those calls to action. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm looking at the website right here. The chat box is actually saying, hey, Riderflex, exclamation point. Can I ask you a question? It knows I'm Riderflex. How about that? Wow. That's what I'm saying. Right? Uh, they, they, okay. We know who you are thanks to some of that IP uh, intelligence. Uh, wow. All right. Now, you, got, you got my attention now for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's now, now, stuff. now, if we sign up, if we sign up and, and you see Riderflex come through the customer list can you go over and make sure we get like the best account manager oh yeah i mean 100 just you know what you can do this is this is what's crazy about it type in to, to the to the chat experience right okay. that chat bot okay hey i need to talk to someone i need a human a human's going to come in number one number two if you say hey i need to talk to mark killens they will tag me into the message and i'll start chatting with you right away and i can do that through my mobile phone wow. i have conversations steve with people um, through my mobile phone on the weekends. Cause like your buyers don't wait. Buyers buy at it. all times. That's the other reason why you have to use conversational marketing. Your website, like you said, you're spending a ton of money on it. You're spending a ton of money, ton of money on marketing and trying to generate interest and demand. You need your website to be top performing today. The Riderflex podcast features entrepreneurs, business executives, and the stories behind how they got there as well as daily tips on career advice and job interviews. 
Our show can be heard just about anywhere these days, but you can visit riderflex.com and click on the podcast page to hear all the previous episodes and learn more about the recruiting and consulting services we provide. Contact us at the email address info at riderflex.com or 888-964-5876. Thanks so much for listening. And if you enjoy our show, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the episodes.